we think it's the same thing now. Unlucky lottery and sucks to be you. I can still, I still know there's a difference. I just can't quite describe it. Well, this guy, I don't know if we have it audio or I gotta, I gotta do some of that reading today. Oh man, I hate when I have to do some of that reading. Man on South Carolina beach killed by plane making emergency oh, landing. Unlucky lottery. What the fuck? First of all, you're the jogger can't figure it out. Yeah. It's a little like Cessna or Must something. Have snuck up behind him with no engine or something. And what about the fucking pilot? You can't avoid the one guy in the beach? I'm landing this bitch. I, I found my glide slope. You're a dead man, motherfucker. <laughs> but it's not like it's it's Jones Beach in July. It's it's it was uh, Hilton Head. There weren't a lot of people on the beach. There's no. How, do you, I, I how can, can you av- you can't avoid the one guy? Here it is. I can only assume this. The beach isn't that wide. You know, beaches aren't. If you're if you're lined up with a dead engine, you got a buzzer. You cannot fucking. I saw the video. What? Is there a video of it? Oh, not no. I saw a video of the beach. I should say, because oh. they had and, and a picture in the paper. Right? You can see for yourself. Uh, the you're plane just on, landing on the sand. It, it, the, it was pretty wide. You just got to go straight. You can't be turning though to avoid a guy. Hit the water. Fuck that. <laughs> so who who's at fault here? Dead guy or or fucking pilot guy? I think it's just a tragedy. Of course, it's a tragedy. And but... the pilot what walked away? Yeah, <laughs> everyone on the plane walked away, and they. they uh, well, here's the story. A dead guy broke his fall. I don't need that. A simple jog ended in a bizarre tragedy on Monday when a small plane made an emergency landing and struck a man exercising on the sandy South Carolina shoreline. That is unlucky lottery, by the way. Because the odds of a a plane crashing into you (laughs) is very slim. Three, four to one. (laughs) (laughs) Something like that. Robert Gary Jones, a father of two from Georgia was killed instantly as he ran along the beach. The 38-year-old was listening. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Like you, uh, he didn't he didn't hear it coming. 38-year-old was listening to his iPod and did not hear the approaching plane. Oh, jeez. So I'm sure the the plane guy was beeping his horn and <laughs> yeah, beeping his horn. <laughs> and the jogger didn't hear it. Auga. Auga. Uh apparently he did not see nor hear the plane, so wow. Mm. The plane was basically gliding. The single engine, la la, the ba ba ba. More than an hour before a report having trouble, blah blah blah. They were heading to Virginia. Who cares? All this info. Things went wrong around 13,000 feet in when oil leaked from the plane and splashed over the windshield. Whoa. Oops. Smith then reported that the. Prof- the propeller had fallen off. What the fuck? What kind of mechanic did <laughs> you ever this hear guy of have? Maintenance? <laughs> what kind of mechanic did this guy have? What the fuck? My propeller fell off. Is that bad? It. I would say that's bad but if your propeller falls off. He made for the beach near the, the the Palmetto Dunes, I guess, and what he hoped would and what he hoped would be a safe landing. Well, it was safe for them. Yeah, you got a if plane you see a it'll... strip of beach and you go to land on it, I'm assuming that there's no room at that point, especially right when you're ready to touch down, to start correcting to miss obstacles. You are lined up. You're going straight. A lone guy, though? Hey, better one guy than fucking, you know, coming in and cartwheeling. What are the odds, The though? guy planted it pretty firmly straight down on the belly. The guy sat there and said, you know, I'm going to have another cup of coffee before I do my morning jog. He'd be a lot. That's why it's Unlucky the Lottery. The odds of that shit are ridiculous. I finally figured out. Unlucky Lottery is shit that just does, doesn't happen to people. Mm-hmm. And it happened to you. And the odds of it happening are like the odds of winning the lottery. But instead of winning the lottery, you had that horrible thing happen to you. Sucks to be you is... Things that have happened to people throughout the years that suck. You fall into a hopper with a giant auger at work, Mm -hmm. and it chews you up. You know, it doesn't happen a lot, but it's happened. It's happened enough times where, you know, if you work in a dangerous environment like that, uh, it'll happen. So those are the big differences. Uh, you, You finish a prayer meeting. And you're driving home, and a big branch falls off a tree Did, and smashes into your window. Well, you, that just happened. Yeah, by the you, way. You just read my mind because that, that's where I was going. We Unlucky had, lottery. We had these horrendous storms, and I'm listening to 1010 Winds, one of the news stations here in New York. I, they're all the same to me. Actually, it might have been 880, whatever. And uh, they said somebody, a couple leaving church. Yeah. Really? 
Yeah, really. Right after you're praying to your God. What kind of hate does this God have? And uh, you must have said you something know, wrong in your prayers. It pissed him off the, a little. The numbers little are down. Aggressive. The numbers are down as far as church goes. So <laughs> God's going to take out two people doing the right thing and going to church on Sunday, and then they're they're going home or whatever. And a, and, and a trade decides it needs to kill those two people. Now you know why that's unlucky lottery. That little seedling. That was growing there at some point. Could have been stepped on by somebody mm-hmm. just walking by. Mm-hmm. Anything could have happened to it. But that tree grew huge mm-hmm. over the years. And and right when they were passing under it, a branch that had been there for who knows, who knows what history that branch has seen. <laughs> Probably 100 decided, years, right? Yeah. Safe to say 100. Decided that was the time I'm going to let loose and fall. Perfect timing right. to just crack these motherfuckers in the head. Unbelievable. That's unlucky lottery. Uh, oh, that uh, this is good. We're getting more info on the plane. Uh, Bill in South Carolina. Now, Bill. Did, Hello, Bill. Did you see this on the local news down there? Yes, I did. I need uh, to know one thing. Were there a lot of people on the beach? I'm assuming no. Uh, they said uh, uh, there was a couple that the plane made it over. They both dove for the ground, and uh, then the landing gear hit the guy in the back of the head. Ow. So Jesus. It was a homemade airplane. He built it two years ago. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's, that's good. What a, that's what so, a propeller fell off. Propeller fell off. <laughs> propeller fell off. <laughs> Would you ever build your own plane? Was it Eric hey, Nagel's grandfather? <laughs> 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 the propeller fell off. You can't. All those kit planes. Oh, 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 oh. All those kit planes <laughs> seem to disaster, be disastrous. Guys, I see this is the propellers. Crazy glue. <laughs> <laughs> no, not crazy glue, Jim. <laughs> you know, you got fucking uh, people that uh, build those experimental planes, the kit planes and things like that. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. John Denver, same thing. Yeah, I wouldn't. Would Need you build say. your own plane? No, you buy a nice one. I had to build some shit recently. <clears throat> it's a nightmare. Yeah. I can't imagine like having to follow the directions that come in the in the airplane yeah. box. IKEA shelves are a pain in the ass. <laughs> right. You're gonna fucking be putting a. Variable pitch propeller on your fucking plane. And here's Watch something. it spin off like a like a little propeller on your hat. <laughs> and here's something for these companies. How about you hire an artist to mm. give you the diagrams properly? Oh, just the uh, little horrid drawings. Because of... a lot of the people don't, they can't draw draw it properly. Yeah. And then you're like, well, it goes. Does it go this way? Is it upside down? I don't. Well, let me look at the diagram. You can't figure it out on the well, diagram. Thank God, I have not gotten a put together thing in many, many years. <laughs> don't have a kid, then, man. There's a lot of stuff to <laughs> a lot fucking, of put together holy stuff. Holy shit! I learned that lesson quickly. I have to put all this together. The kid's not even born yet. Do, do you have uh, your basic tool set? Do you have a little uh, battery drill so you don't have to sit there with a screwdriver? You got little wrenches and things like that? The father-in-law made sure I had all the tools. Oh, did know, he? He's a Philly guy. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hard-working Philly guy. You got to have all that. He, he was mortified to, to find out that I, I didn't have one tool in my house. There's nothing so worse now than I got a lot of tools. Turning a fucking <laughs> screwdriver when you know you could have that screw in there in two seconds with a drill. Anyone who doesn't have a fucking drill with a little, you know, little case with all the little bits in it for those Phillips head and regular head and some right. sockets, you're an asshole. I was losing my mind putting something together, a cradle actually, and I actually yelled oh. out. <laughs> what did you yell? I'm not supposed to be doing this type of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm supposed to hire people to do this. And then I suggested Kenny, and then that wasn't good. I'm like, Kenny yeah. can do all this. I don't oh know how to God. do this. Kenny wouldn't know how to do it. <laughs> but I was more frustrated at the stupid diagram. The fucking diagram never is never easy. It's some kind of IQ test of three dimensions. Well, then they have all the parts, and they have arrows and this and that. And it's like it's but the it, exploded view, they call it. What Explo- is it called? Exploded oh, okay. view. Right, 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 right. And then you're supposed to be able to look at it and know how it goes together and which it, each yeah. screw. And yeah, I do understand. You, you do all the separating first. Yeah. But they can't even draw the parts correctly. So you're looking at, okay, I know I have to find that part, but I don't have that part because I don't know what that part is. You didn't draw it right. <laughs> Am I saying draw it wrong? They ought to draw, draw it to it scale. Right. Like the the actual size. Well, how about a picture? So you could put it up to it. Yeah, a picture would be I, nice. How about a little picture that comes with it? Well, that costs a little that would be too a lot, much for that, them. Well, that would be a... Cuts uh, down on their profit margin. That would be a lot easier. 
Uh, oh, and, and some guys, like, if you were the pilot, oh, you would avoid the jogger. I'm just thinking, I, I guess what Ann's saying, it was just meant to happen. Once you're set in up, that you're unlock, set up. unlucky lottery world. If you try to pull up, we probably would have just stalled it out, crashed. If you try to turn, he would have lost uh, lost it and cartwheeled. At that point, you, you got to probably look. If you hit him with the landing gear, he probably thought, maybe I'll clear this guy. All the guy had to do was fucking duck. Duck, duck motherfucker, but duck. he was too busy <laughs> listening to his stupid... What song do you think he I hope it was Dave Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Dave Matthews? You don't like Dave Matthews? How oh, can cool. you? So, <laughs> How can you? Well, Dave Matthews does have a song called... Yes, okay, Dave. Yeah. Crash yeah. into me. Page, yeah. right. Crash into me. <laughs> so you picked a good band there, uh, Jimmy. Uh, uh, let's say hi to Paul in Colorado. Paul. Hey there, Paul. Hey, guys, I got an unlucky lottery. This dude's driving up this canyon 55 miles an hour with his wife when a one-foot-by-one-foot one rock decides to dislodge from this cliff, totally random, goes through the dude's roof, kills his wife. Dude is just driving, no problems. Well, after it happened, no problems, that's for sure. <laughs> did it, Hold on. Did it, <laughs> and that rock probably just sat there for a million years. I love the boulders that I, I picture dinosaurs looking at yeah, at sure. some point sure. these boulders that have been in one spot for millennia and then they just decide ah i'm gonna tumble down right now when a station wagon full of nuns mm -hmm. is driving by and just wipe them all out yeah um people have a problem with my theory fontaine writes oh you think somebody's glad that the guy's dead i don't know but I i'm just telling you there are times people die, and it gets other people out of horrific fucking oh, situations. Yeah. Oh, and if you don't want to acknowledge that, then be the goody two-shoes that you are. Sometimes. Every horrendous tragedy, there are people dying in there that people are like, holy shit, did you hear what happened to asshole? That just avoided me a lot of money or avoided me Whatever. Uh, a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's just something. Could have been a kid toucher. Could have been some guy going through a horrendous uh, divorce yep. that he didn't deserve. Something. Yeah. There you go. Something. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the in-law story? Speaking of things falling. Ooh, what happened? I, I give my in-laws, uh, this is a couple years ago. I, I couldn't go, so I had um, tickets to see the Flyers and uh, Islanders in Philly. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go, so I sent the tickets down. And the in-laws, they're like, hey, date night, right on. We're going to check out the big fucking hockey game. And they're driving. And all they remember is um, hearing a, a loud crash. A tire. To this day, they don't know where the tire came from. A Ugh. huge truck tire. I never told the story on the air. Wow. Fucking crashed down on the hood of their car, uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the, roof? the roof of the car, splitting the car pretty much in half. Holy shit. And, and and both in-laws... a plane landing gear? <laughs> they don't know to this day where the fucking tire came from. It came from an overpass. So what? A truck loses that tire at that... Uh, Maybe. At, the, at that very second. Goes flying over the side and hits them right in the middle of the roof. That's Could have easily lottery. killed both of them or one of them. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, they're fucking swerving off the road because now they're like, what the fuck? And there's a perfect tire print on... On the on on what was left of the roof. You're just a little slower in your trip. If you would have tapped the brakes, it would have been through your front windshield. Mm -hmm. You know, shit like that. Yeah, that fucks you up. You ever get uh, the kids on the overpass throwing shit at you? It happens in Florida a lot no. for some reason. They're so bored down there that the kids, the Utes, they'll uh, they'll have their fucking soda fucking bottles or whatever, and they throw them over the top well, when you're driving. Be through. able to run faster than Mister Forty Caliber. Nah, they don't fucking take that shit. I don't know how you find those guys after they throw that shit. Because you're already going 60, 70 miles an hour by the time you find an exit and fucking turn around. Where the turn fuck around. are they? Turn around. Where are they? Oh, look, they're still there. Uh, are <laughs> they really? I've crept up on uh, snowball thrower kids before. Flanked them. Came up from, from behind them. Really? Where? Just scared the piss out of them. I was in Elwood somewhere years ago. Me and my brother. How old were you? 20s. Oh, okay. And they were like kids. Uh -huh. They were kid kids, like fucking like seven, eight, nine. You beat them like up that. like me and my brother got beat up? No, no. We scared the living fuck out of them, though. Like, th we crept up, and they were still laying down, mm -hmm. like prone position, looking for the next victim, driving down the road. And we were just like, 
What the fuck are you motherfucking? <laughs> the, the faces, they, they like, they did that, wah, where they froze and their eyes got real big. And then we just were throwing snowballs at them. They ran away. They were petrified. See, it's fucking great. I, I, the only yeah, reason, I lived be, in the only reason, because because you know it's the the memory. But we got beat up by a grown man. See, you you stopped <laughs> short of beating the shit out of him. We got yeah. the shit kicked out of us, and then had to go in our house. And we were too scared to tell our parents. We were fucked. We would be mad. We were fucked up though. No How marks on our. You? I want to say. No more than twelve. If I was twelve, then my brother was eleven, and then Elmo was ten. So we were all wow, around beat that the age. Shit out of fucking dude. Kids. We got the shit beat out of us. Two or three of. I'm not sure. It was at least two, maybe three of us. We had the perfect spot. Uh, a little twenty. Foot, Guess it wasn't all that perfect. A twenty foot high <laughs> hill, on the back of the driveway, facing twenty five A. Yeah. So and you could see the cars coming. So it was perfect timing, man. And we were hitting cars, laughing our asses off, and. We don't even know where the guy came from. He, he was obviously is. one that we hit. Yeah. I don't know where he parked because it's a real busy road. And oh, I you'll get ambition I, to park way far away, walk. You're stalking your prey. I don't it's know fun. how, but he did flank around, like you said. We're, we see this strange guy. We think we're getting murdered. We don't realize it has something to do with what we're doing. Yeah. And then he just beat the shit out of us. <laughs> right in our own backyard. Took on all three years, huh? See, I mean, it goes back so far i don't remember how many there was definitely at least two of us that he took on no problem yeah. but i i mean it was usually me scott and uh brother elmo always we, hanging together we were like stop oh stop yeah it. all we that, didn't do all it. that. <laughs> crying like bitches oh, that's great just crying and then we all we realized we can't go in and because we already were scolded about the snowball thing because that was our thing we did every fucking snowstorm got the shit beat out of us grown shit. man why didn't you just do what uh, me and my brother did when we set that fire? You blame it on uh, black people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Know. When we were, I was in kindergarten. <laughs> what, a, what a little racist. Oh, let's go to... <laughs> I was the lilest racist. Oh, sweetie. You should make a movie. The You're... lilest yeah, racist. With L apostrophe I L. Yeah. yeah. Your dad was. <laughs> so it's cute. Your dad was proud though, Aunt. You made him happy. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, all, you know, whole uh, family. Uh, it was a different time, Opie. It was a different time where you'd walk into uh, your relative's house and uh, the end bomb was just being thrown around like the word was. <laughs> it's, it's like the. And Anthony wanted to be like the big adults because they were all like, he would cry so much. And then yeah. one day he went, nigger. And they went, ew. And they oh my God. He's such a big boy. I was think that, the first was time, that your first word? Ed? I think the first time first I word? used it. Yeah, that was the first word I said. The first time I ever used uh, uh, that word, uh, uh, I think everybody in the family just started laughing. And of it was course, really they did. funny and everything. Yeah. So you know, I haven't stopped since. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Try to make people laugh ever <laughs> since, right, Ant? Yes. Uh, let's say hi to Striker. Striker. <laughs> hey, morning, hey. morning, boys. Hey, I got two things for you. Uh, kind of going along with that guy a few minutes ago about that woman that got killed here in Colorado with the rock. About eight years ago, there was a semi. Uh, a rock slide came down. The woman driver never even saw it coming. A rock slide came down and wiped out the entire semi, uh, crushed the cab flat. The only reason anybody even fully understood what happened was the truck that was behind her watched it happen and said she never even knew what hit her. Wow. Uh, the, the other thing is my wife and I just bought a brand-new Mila dishwasher. It's a real high-end German dishwasher. I went to install it. The instructions are all in German, and there's only two pictures of it. Is there a little, is there a little area in the thing for gold teeth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the only picture, the one picture is of the packing slip as to what parts are supposed to be in there, and the other picture is what the finished product is supposed to look like. Doesn't and There's no, like, breakdown as to how it's supposed to go together. Wow. You know, it, that's it, tough. Which, what should have been a three-hour install took me 12 hours. It just pisses you off because you spend all this money with, with the company and, and their diagrams and their instructions are just so fucking lame. You can figure out some of it. But then you realize, oh, fuck, I was supposed to put that part in before I did step four, five, and six. Now you have to undo step four, five, and six to do oh, to put all the that piece shit. In. Yeah. I was out of my mind, yeah, man. That's a tough one. Uh, thank you, Striker. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Or Riker. not. Riker. Yeah. See, this. See, yeah, we got to talk about this a little bit. Ellis in Philly. Ellis. Hey, uh, up by uh, Franklin Mills. Is this the Mills, Ellis? Uh, the Ellis. Hey, what's up, brother? Oh, hey, uh, yeah. up by Franklin Mills. 
One night, uh, some dude tossed a... Hey, uh, speck and talk. <laughs> I do it every time, Ellis. Come on. Ellis. I love it, man. Yeah, some dude tossed the shopping cart off the overpass by Franklin Mills when we were through a windshield of a tractor trailer. It was awful. Yeah, why, why are they Ooh. doing this? That's, I don't know, man. Please don't do that. In the Northeast. Every time you see the kids, like, waving as you're going, you know, under an overpass, you're yeah. just wondering, are you going to fucking throw Here it comes. Over? What's going to happen? Here it comes. I look for one every time, man. Yeah. Have you a good show, guys. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Mark in South Carolina. Mark. Good morning, b -b -b boy. Hey, buddy. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hi, fella. Hey, I was calling. Actually, I'm a firefighter here in uh, South Carolina, and I've seen some amazing uh, bad luck. Uh, but one of my favorite, we had a woman actually was driving, wrecked, went over and over, past wrecked. Uh, but she had injuries to the side of her head, was not consistent with a head-on collision that she had. Well, we're doing the reconstruction, we're looking, and then suddenly we see flying over the bridge wood debris. And it's like, what the hell is that? Somebody had a drum grinder where they make uh, mulch. They were grinding beside the bridge. Well, debris was shooting over the bridge. She had her window cracked maybe a quarter of an inch in a piece of wood went inside, hit her on the side of the head, knocked her out, made her have a head-on collision. Man. Brilliant. Is that unlucky lottery? What are the fucking odds of that one? Odds I mean, pretty slim. I mean, she but, just, I mean if her yeah. window was up just a quarter of an inch more, it would nothing would have happened. <laughs> Jesus. Unbelievable. What the hell yeah. is somebody, like, fucking running a chipper on a bridge? What's that? Oh, no, 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 chip. no, no, that's, no, no. That's okay. Uh, Tom on Long Island. Tom. <laughs> What's up, guys? What are you talking about? Hey, Tom. Back in the height. Back in high school, uh, my buddy used to live behind a, a tire dealership. So one of the things we used to do was uh, 12 o'clock at night, and it, lived out, it was a little bit of an incline. So we used to try to time as the cars would go by to roll these tires out in front of the cars until, of course, a cop came. We all scattered. But uh, it's wrong you know, with people. Somebody. You know, I always kind of thought about consequences. Whenever I wanted to do something... I threw a snowball at a car and shit like that, or an egg on, on Halloween. But to roll a tire out, that's like the fucking, the bad son. Is that the movie? The bad yeah. son with uh, fucking Macaulay Culkin <laughs> shooting the bolt gun through fucking windows? <laughs> oh, the I bad seat. No, we, the good son. It was called the good son. Are we in agreement that snowball's okay, but tires not, yeah. or snowball's bad, too. Snowball's bad, too. I can fight, you know, because you, you just don't know what's going to happen. Because I threw him as a kid, but if someone hits me with a snowball while I'm driving, yeah, I'm going to be flank guy. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to find that fucker. <laughs> Take yeah. out some yeah. some uh, <laughs> anger from my ute. Because it would shock you. There, there, there is a distinct sound of a snowball hitting your door. That thud, <laughs> that boom sound, it kind of, sh it shocks you at first, and then you just get pissed. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck through that? You want to Punch him in the face. But rolling tires, dude. Yeah, you ever, yeah, yeah. You ever get arrested? No, no, no. It's just uh, one of those things. That we, we, we just, when the cops came, we all scattered and they couldn't find us. But just, since then, they, they corralled the tires. They put them in a cage after that. So. <laughs> Here in Long Island, we had some woman get fucked up from a frozen turkey. Yeah. They took fucking kids through a frozen turkey off an overpass, and it went right through a windshield and smack right into her face. She survived, right? But Yeah, but who, it's not a good who, life. Yeah, but she, she had, like, turkey wings on her head or something. That was something. <laughs> she took it home and cooked it, Chip. <laughs> hey, she probably said, like, what is it, rain turkeys? Can't rain turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If that happened yeah. to me, I'd probably be looking up in the sky going, hey, where's the stuffing? <laughs> Maybe some fixings. <laughs> I, had a, uh, I had a seagull, a seagull in my work van once. It hit right at the corner of my windshield. Fuck. And made such a Thud, loud fucking noise. I had to be doing about 70. It was way out east on the expressway. Is way a, the fuck out east. They always say it's almost impossible to hit a bird, though. Whoa, you you hear that your you. whole life. I this, was in a, I was in a yeah. van uh, with uh, Ziggy, actually. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were driving in Manhattan, crossing town. And uh, some, like, four or five pigeons had been flying across the street. 
And uh, the last one that was, you know, kind of tagging behind a little bit uh, as we're getting close to it. Because, like, whoever hits the bird, like, sometimes it gets close. And like, oh, yeah, you, you know. never hit it. And uh, I'm like, man, I, I really think we're going to hit this bird. <laughs> and then sure enough, it was just, yeah. damn. <laughs> I had to get out and, like, you know, make sure it wasn't, like, stuck to the grill. <laughs> we totally hit the bird. It was awesome. This thing left a, uh, like, powder on my windshield about five times the size of the bird. Like, every bit of dust that was in his feathers just got knocked the fuck right Jesus. out of him and ended up on the windshield. No blood or anything. The thing was dead. You know, it flew right over the top. I don't think birds have a lot of blood. They don't seem to have a lot of no, blood. No, not a lot of blood in them, I guess. They seem like they're really dehydrated. Yeah, little skinny bones Look and at this stupid beak. How much water do you think you can drink? Yeah, they got to be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, Did you? And Kenny hit yeah. a bird, I just remembered. And it, the damn thing fucked. With his fist. <laughs> You can drink. Yeah. They gotta be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, Did you? and Kenny hit yeah. a bird. I just remembered, and it, the damn thing fucked with his fist. Yeah, <laughs> was looking a, at him in a bar. Thought it was a black person. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it was a crow. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I almost saw Kenny show some emotion when we hit a pigeon on the way home, and really? this thing fucking exploded. He could tell the story. I don't know if he's fucking here right came now. Came apart, but he almost like. Show some emotions. Laughs. Kenny, remember the pigeon? 